Notre Dame, in my eyes, has separated from the pack offensively. Duke's defense is what stands out. Well, I think Duke needs to figure out their midfield punch. Will Lynch and Jake Naso from two rival Long Island high schools. One of the subplots when these two teams play. 14 in blue is Jordan Faison. This is Pat Cavanaugh. Skip pass. Dobson thought about it. Instead feeds McLean. Turned away by Jamison. And the Blue Devils will now set up their clear. Meaning Dobson, big number eight in blue, covered by a short stick. Chris Cavanaugh working on Henry Bard. Cavanaugh's the team's leading scorer. Face on, plays for the Notre Dame football team, a wide receiver, MVP of the Sun Ball. Here's Pat Cavanaugh, and he gets the scoring started for the Fighting Irish. Defensive end, you see right here, Jamison makes this save. But Kenny Brower, he corrals it, but he goes in the crease. So then it's in and out, and now it's all Pat Cavanaugh. One of the strengths in Pat's game is his positional versatility. He can dodge from the low spots on attack. Who had one of the best individual seasons in the history of the game last year. ACC Player of the Year, Tawartan Award winner, and then MVP of the World Games in San Diego. And you've got Dyson Williams, one of the great goal scorers in the history of Duke Lacrosse. Here's Andrew McAdory, the speedy midfielder. Over to the wing, and the freshman, Max Sloat. The lefty, the red shirt, gets Duke even. Out of the substitution box, he's the party starter. He is, and you see the speed, the straight line speed. We saw so much of that of Andrew McAdory as a freshman in 2022. When he comes out of the box, and it is a foot race, he wins. Notre Dame knows they need to support that matchup. Max Sloat. And his pass picked off by Antibin. You know, it's interesting. They're putting Conlon, 20 in blue, on O'Neal. He's a lefty. I thought maybe Sean Light, the freshman, who's been getting all the number one matchups, who's a righty, actually could, could play O'Neal. Big takeaway by Jake Wilson. He's forced toward the sideline. That's his team. Pat Cavanaugh against Kenny Brower, All-American against All-American. Cavanaugh turns, fires, and he's got a second. Uh, here's here's the, the riding opportunity. They, 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 they just hunt. That could have been a, a, a push with possession from the rear, but these referees letting him play today. I like the variety of Pat Cavanaugh's dodges. His first goal was on the other side of the field. He's dodging Kenny Brower, who's so comfortable, behind the cage in that goal line, extended a lot up top. If you play him on the second midfield, there's a chance they get the pole. At least one of them does. And Duke wants them to work against shorties. Natural grass surface here. They had a lot of rain last weekend. Here's Dyson Williams. One of the best finishers in Duke history. He's top five in goals. Give him one more, the 188th of his career. Brennan O'Neill, I have not seen very many multiple pass goals, but the alley dodge draws the slide. It's just a late second slide. You know, Ben Johnson's only a freshman too. I've been impressed when you watch him on tape, his ability to feed off the dodge. His line mate, Brennan Williams, the presumptive number one pick in the PLL draft. Here comes Duke. Naso over to O'Neal. Feeding inside. So what a denied by Enzeman. I actually think this is a good matchup for Duke with a short stick because Aiden McGuire is defending Dobson. He's about as physical as it gets from a defensive midfield perspective. He will swallow you up. He loves contact. So this is a big on big matchup here right now. Dobson's been getting the shorty lately, and he's been moving the defense. There's the slide, finding Taylor on the inside. It's Jamison with the doorstep denial. Papendick skirts down the alley, plays it back to Zawada. Denenza against the short stick, Harris. Good ball movement. Balsamo, left-hand free. Bounce shot, save Entenman. That's a great stop he right made, there. He made it look easy, didn't he? he? Did. Kevin Every, all, every Kevin time all. we've seen him, Anish, he gets better. Yep. Oh, yes. This guy who didn't play in the fall, too. Pat Kavanaugh's got a short stick. They're going to go early here. Wow. Oh. How about the defense? Uh, he got a little sold too it. much. Jack Gray. Be careful. And now Be careful. the tempers flaring. I, I, think, I think 51's going to get a foul here. 
They don't like each other. No. It was only a matter of time the boiler room starts to pop. They don't like each other, and why would they? That title game last year was an absolute war. The, the best man-up unit in the country by far. It's ridiculous. With a non-releasable opportunity here on the extra man. And that's a great point, too, because you also have Will Lynch, who's facing off at a crazy clip. He was hoping that his team would level up to this game, to ramp up. You sense that in the first quarter. Notre Dame 15 out of 20 with the extra man this season. That is absurd. Yep. Got to watch 13 in blue. He's a crease manipulator. Make it 16 out of 21. Devin McLean with the man up goal. And there's still plenty of time on this extra man. So now Notre Dame faces off three on two. You can see how much attention Taylor's drawing in the interior. Dobson and Pat Cavanaugh play catch. Now the is. ball movement, the wing shot, McLean, saved by Jamison. Donovan, one of the unsung heroes of championship weekend last year. Now Zawada against Light, using the pick. Skip pass, Johnston, step down, save, Entman. Rebound high in the air, Conlin had it. It's knocked loose, and it comes back to Zawada. I thought last year... Charles Balsamo was a, a big fixture in the offense. A lot of times getting a short stick. He has the ball now. I think we need to see more of a dose of him. Get him involved, too, because I think as a freshman last year, he was he was phenomenal at times. Gutsy. Game winner against Syracuse. Here he is. Great change of direction. Strong left hand. Picked up by Light. That means Awada's got the shorty. Feeding to Nenza. Bang. Duke got the switch. That got Notre Dame out of sync, and the Blue Devils capitalize. Starts with sloppiness from Notre Dame. Ramsey on the clear. Carries up left-handed. I mean, that's right in the breadbasket. That's a play you got to make. And then you have a dose of Charles Balsamo who starts this play. And then it's tic-tac-toe. Oh, coming in. I mean, who knew that Tevlin would be captain, bagpiper, and multiple national champions in this program? Yeah, this offside. one's offsides. Last year, the bagpipe situation at Notre Dame. Two quarterback system. Now it's Bergmaster's <laughs> time to shine. I, 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 I worry about the future. Coach Corrigan in, in midseason form. <laughs> he takes his hat off. Woo. He seemed happy. He was excited. I, I got to spend a lot of time with him down on the field, as you guys did. I asked him, I said, you still get pumped for these games? He said, oh, yeah, I still, get, I still feel it. He's got, I got to stay away from my guys <laughs> pregame. Got to, don't want to give him any vibes either way. Man up opportunity for Duke. McAdory to Denenza. Trying to feed Dyson Williams, and Dyson Williams cashes in. His second of the game, his seventh man up goal of the season. Denenza, top of the arc. Dyson just flashes towards him. He's really covered well, but the shot goes from a high release to the offside low corner. This is a thing of beauty. Oh, yeah. That Changes is level. Three quarter arm release. Here comes Pat Cavanaugh. He's got the short stick. O'Connor. Chris Cavanaugh kiss the stone. The Cavanaugh brothers team up for the 34th time in their career. Watch him draw the double team on the rollback. Able to get two hands on the stick. Finds his brother who singes a corner. Weak. Now Will Lynch bumped into the official on the faceoff. And they're going to give the ball to Duke. Naso over to Denenza. He's got two points. Denenza face dodge to the cage. Ooh. Antamin going down to preserve the five hole. He, you know what's interesting, I too? I think he was sitting on it. He was I, think, sitting I think, on think he was sitting on it. You got Massapequa, Mud Hen. You, you got two island guys. Yep. You, these, I'm thinking they he go, they go way back. They go way back. You know what I want to ask you, though, is as a goalie, how do you know to go under or over in that spot? Here comes Harris. Bounce shot off the crossbar. That's no goal. Frizzoli picks it up for Duke. Chance here. Kavanaugh turns, fires, and scores. Four points in the opening half. He's got a hat trick. The Kavanaugh showed me a drill, how they catch the ball all different spots, and it's just constant releases from different vantage points. This is all in the backyard. It's, it's understanding where the ball is, where the cage is. 
Chris Cavanaugh now back to Dobson. When he's got the shorty, it usually means a slide is coming. There it is. Carpenter, Taylor on the doorstep, looking for face on. Back to McLean, and that's too easy. Fulton Bayman on the wing. It started with Dobson getting the defense moving, and Duke was never able to recover. Notre Dame, about these type of big games, and I said they're usually won by roster number roster guys 14 through 22. Like, who comes off your bench and can contribute? There's Fulton Bayman. Bayman, yeah, this is a beautiful shot. I think this play is all developed by Eric Dobson. You're not going to see anything statistically from Dobson on this goal. Here we go again. Kavanaugh and Brower. Two of the best at their craft. Little two-man game. Kavanaugh got free. McLean went back Ooh. to set the pick. It gave Kavanaugh that opening. He's got four in the first half. As he uses the pick and changes direction, it's one, come back, and then zigzag again. Brower's got the goal in his way, and he beats him to the goal line extended. What impressed me the most about this is once he trips Brower, what you want to see is either player, coach, someone say, get Brennan the ball. Looks like Duke's changed the matchup on Pat Kavanaugh. Looks like Henry Bard covering him now. Dobson picked up by McGuire. Kenny Brower's got to deal with the other Kavanaugh. Chris with his right hand free. Upstairs, Penthouse Parm. That's five unanswered for the Irish. Very good. What he does here is once he beats his defender, he knows there's really no follow-up there, Quint. He actually has the time to set his feet. A lot of times when you start a dodge from up top and there's no switch or the switch is late, you continue down the alley to shoot. He knows there's zero pressure around him. It's shoveled ahead across the midfield line. And it comes back to Duke. Fresh 80. It looks like they're making a concerted effort, though, to get 34 involved here in the second half. McAdory firing on the run, and that puts an end to a 5-0 Notre Dame scoring spurt. We've seen two explosive moves. One was as a feeder, now as a shooter. Right-handed rip on the run. He's got great acceleration. Let's that go before the double team can get to him, and the reset pays dividends. Right away as a true freshman, he was the guy. He took his lumps. Here comes Pat Kavanaugh, four goals already. Now Chris turns, fires, scores, and it is 9-5 Irish. Watch the lift check under the lower glove and lift and just handcuffs the shooter, but guess what? His brother's there to back it up, and he beats Bard to the goal line extended. It ends out of the box against Donovan. Papendick got to step on Harris, finds a cutting Williams, and Timmon sends it back. O'Neal off the rebound, gets on the board. Gets the rebound here, corrals it. Entman in that low base, and he stings him high. That was the best look in Duke possession we've seen all day. Playing with a bit of a sense of urgency, really sharp. McAdory trying to go low to high, turned away. Entman the save. Long rebound near midfield. Parlett and Sloat, bodies flying. Wow, what a play. What and an Parlett incredible play. Comes away with it off the ground. Here's the effort play. What's a dive? Boom. Back and, to his feet. And look who comes up with it. <laughs> Back 21 in blue. Big rip. Looks like Eneman took that one off his right hand. Maybe the thumb. New 60. McAdory. Dancing with Harris. McAdory all the way. And a flag down as McAdory crashes in the crease. And we're going to get a penalty. A push against Duke. So Notre Dame, or rather a push against Notre Dame. So Duke will have the extra man for 30 seconds. And you go underneath here, you know you're paying the price. Redodge. I love the way he yo-yos. Did you see a push there, though? There's no push there. There's no push. When, when 100 miles an hour is smoking at you. Denenza to Dyson Williams. Slam dunk. Second man up goal for Williams. Three goals on the afternoon. And it's 9-7.
Pythagorean theorem, right? Here's Chris Cavanaugh. Dips under, flips it back. Cavanaugh's got four goals. Jamison out of the cage. And then they get the empty net goal with McLean. Jamison came out, and McLean got to the spot. The grad transfer from Brown scored the first goal of the game for the Irish on that beautiful right-handed rip on the extra man. This time, he to compare Jake Pisano and Cole Kastner uh, and Garrett Degnan, uh, and then, too, I, I love the way Jimmy Stagnita gives you grief on, on draft. Yeah, yeah, that, that, that's fine. I, I do agree with you. You have to dive deep. Face on shot stopped by Jamison. The quick outlet up ahead to Carpenter. He tracks it down. The trail check. Face on. Carpenter so good off the ground. Almost had it. Now he gets it back. Carpenter fires and scores. He stayed with it all the way. There's a lot of coaches who would have called timeout when he comes up with this ball right here. He, right here, he's in the box. Oh, give me a timeout, timeout, timeout. Nah, -uh. now with Tyler Carpenter, you let that play out, play out, play out. And all over to Taylor. He gets sandwiched. Comes to Chris Cavanaugh, hums it high. You got to be okay with those between the legs misses because they fall sometimes, and that's the, the mark of this offense. Booze and kill gets topside. 11 8 Notre Dame. Jake Taylor can can a lot of these. It's the creativity, it's the green light of an offense to know you don't have to look over your shoulder, Quint, because you're going to get it again. Top 50 recruit coming out of high school where he also played quarterback for his football team. Face off one by Duke. Frizzoli will play it back. Brower can't find it. Now oh, here comes here come the piranhas. Uh-oh. Kavanaugh's shoulder. And Pat Kavanaugh's hurt. That's not a good look. He gets immediate attention from Mandy Merritt, the athletic trainer. Who did and such now a, a flag is thrown. Chris Cavanaugh, his brother, came to Pat's defense right away. Kenny Brower standing off to the side early in the game. Brower and Cavanaugh got into it. And Pat Cavanaugh holding his shoulder. Is just is bigger than this game right now if, if you're a Notre Dame fan. He's tangled up and he just lands on it funny right there. Yeah, that's nothing on the defender. And right away you see it's the right shoulder. I couldn't agree with you more. It's so much bigger. This moment. This right moment, here. Yes. yes. Because yes. you just you hope that it's nothing serious because this team his there comes Denenzo over to McAdory. Williams a couple of man up goals today. He's camped out near the crease. Balsamo. Denenzo off the crossbar. On the rebound. Antimon the save on the shot from Zawada. This guy's ridiculous in the cage. A lot of pipe shots, but then Antimon. I mean, you got to hit corners against Liam. Liam Antimon goes down, and he's hobbling. Notre Dame's going to have to use a timeout. Entman is hobbling on the far side. The officials will stop play because the injury happened behind the play. And we're going to see Alex Zemp, the junior from Mineola. Yeah, Zeff is, is one of two incredible backup goalies. Thomas Richardelli was the number one rated goalie in high school lacrosse two years ago. When Entman leaves campus, that is going to be a battle for the ages. Right now, Zeph's on the field. This is what the officials are looking at. Watch the ball off the crossbar. Where does it bounce? Where does it ricochet? Oh, that's a goal. That is a goal. That's a goal. That is a goal. It's a great call. Tyson Williams puts his hand up right away. It was a Duke challenge. So this ball hits the crossbar. It bounces into the goal, and it always comes back with backspin. So this is going to hit off the crossbar bounce past the goal line and then because of the spin it'll kick out into the field of play that spin is what led me to think that it came out right that's incredible that is a great look yeah we've slowed it down it came out so fast there were audible whispers in the audience i wouldn't say whispers so it, it goes directly down and then spins back out spin, yeah the back yeah. spin's always going to kick that out
No goal. No goal. No goal. Wow. wow. Inconclusive, huh? I, I mean, how much more conclusive does it have to be? Suddenly getting looks. Here comes O'Neal. He's got the short stick matchup with Ramsey. The Tawarton winner with his second goal and a fist pump. Duke within two. Stays on the short stick. Ben Ramsey's one of the best in the country, but you're not moving that. And while he uses his strength, he brings the stick back to his left hand to keep that angle. Seven career goals. O'Neal, skip pass, Frizzoli. Over to Zawada, crease feed, Dyson Williams, his fourth, and we've got a one goal game. Look at Brennan O'Neill here, the confidence that he has in Frizzoli. I think Frizzoli makes this play happen. A lot of times defensive midfielders will get a little anxious and want to shoot that. It's right to Zawada, who finds guess who on the backside, and when you want to beat Entman, Dyson Williams in the top five all-time in goals at Duke, as is Brennan Williams, or Brennan O'Neill. Here comes McAdory. And he ties the game at 11! Jake Naso, first team All-American a year ago. Brass knuckle match with Will Lynch and the catapult from McAdory. Two things stand out. McAdory's on the wing of the faceoff, so they transition in offense right away. Mark. Duke was down four at halftime. They trailed by three going into the fourth quarter. Naso flag got up. hammered. That's a late flag. flag. Plays it back, and now the penalty coming. See the replay, Quint. Goes up for it. That is a clean yes. lacrosse hit. And that flag was super late, too. Evan. First meeting between these two since last year's national championship. If you're Bayman, you want to get slippery. You do not want to get into the body of Jack Gray. There's Pat Cavanaugh. McLean, Dobson, face dodge. Dobson fires, scores. Irish back on top. Great time. Whoop. Face dodge. Dobson, terrific move and finish. Game on. I'll tell you, as this game gets deep, though, the faceoff, there was a discrepancy between Naso and Will Lynch, and now it's, whoa. Oh, there's Jake Taylor, Major League, from Pat Cavanaugh. Another assist for Cavanaugh, who's Notre Dame's all-time leader in that category, and the cushion is two for the Irish. Didn't slide. Well, they're sending double teams now in the second half. And Taylor flashes from a high slot area. He cuts to the far post, and that's a spot feed to perfection. Yeah, that look wasn't there in the first half. Here's O'Neal again. Marked by Conlon. We'll get a switch here. They've been successful getting the switch for O'Neal. Zawada over to Johnston. His pass for O'Neal is knocked down. It was tipped. Rolling toward midfield. Wilson... Tries to push it back on the offensive half. A chance for the Irish. Taylor, one on zero. Taylor all the way. By Notre Dame. Good handle right here. It's Conlin, who was an investment banker during the fall, taking a job up in New York City, who said, you know what? I got one more shot to play college lacrosse. I'm going to exercise that right. Blue Devils down three. They got to go quickly. And they need Naso to win face-offs. Enemy's performance forcing a lot of these Duke shots wide. We've seen it a lot. Great goalies. You tend to try to be too perfect. Slope lets it rip. Duke within two, and there's time. 103 to go. You've got Naso, who's won more face-offs than any other Blue Devil. Pipe, your shot has to be almost perfect. And Slow just hammers this to the bottom corner offside. That ball is absolutely humming, but this is a face-off. Naso and Lynch, they played at rival high schools on Long Island. Lynch kicks it back, Parlett scoops it, tries to, Duke comes away with it. And we're gonna get a call against Duke, so 
Or they say he's out of the box. Because Parlett missed the scoop, the Duke player steps out of the box, uh, anticipating that he's going to scoop it to to riding to it. And so possession was never insured oh, that's by costly. Parlett. That's May 3rd, May 5th in Charlotte, North Carolina yep. at American Legion Stadium, right? Yep. yep. You think about Virginia always would have that weekend off, right? It was, it was their, their way of getting healthy. Chris Cavanaugh will put it on the empty net, and that's the final dagger. This will propel them to the number one RPI. Uh, they've got to be unanimous number one a after this game. I I'm not sure how Virginia's getting first place votes.